This film shows how Back in Fabra came to understand how he developed vocal dystonia, and better still, how he began playing again. And the inspiration for this came from a diminutive figure in a loincloth. But he didn't have to travel to the East for this touch of enlightenment. You know, I was approaching uh, my problem always from a technical standpoint, you know. And I finally talk, said to myself, Joaquin, you are doing this for seven years, six years, seven years, I don't remember for sure. And you know that you are making huge efforts, you are investing a lot of time, you are investing a lot of efforts, but the compensation never comes. You know, you are not getting any result, you know. So I thought, okay, I am pushing, pushing and pushing. And I remember that I, I, I saw a movie by, by, by he, this was uh, the president of India, Gandhi. 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 And, and Gandhi was talking about the philosophy of non-violence, you know, the way they mm -hmm. revealed against the, the British Empire without violence, yes, yeah. you, know, you know, and he said, oh, I, I will try to, to translate that into action. What does it mean? So I, I said, if I feel attacked by something that I cannot control, why should I keep trying to control it? Because it's of no use. It's pointless. So I started to learn, I started learning not to reject what was going on with me. I wanted to be sincere with myself. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see exactly what was going on. You know, at last I said, okay, if I have a problem, an emotional problem, I have never considered that before, well, I'm going to accept it. So I try, it was very difficult for me because after so many years trying to control tension, as I told you, uh, I had developed developed uh, an irresistible impulse to keep controlling tension. Mm. Because you know that when you feel tense, you immediately, uh, you have developed the automatism to, I have to do something to, to get rid of this, because I don't want to see it. Mm. So I decided to look at, to see it, to look at it. So I said, okay, let's see what happens. And when I finally allowed myself to see what was going on, I, I, I felt that Something was, uh, I was relieving from an in, in internal standpoint. I was feeling relieved. I was feeling more relaxed from a psychological standpoint. And obviously, from a physical standpoint. Because we cannot conceive relaxation, but, uh, physical relaxation without psychological relaxation. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. I mean, they are just associated, you know. So I started feeling much better, you know. And I said, okay, if I am doing this, with the without the instrument, why shouldn't I do the same with the instrument? And they said, okay, Joaquin, from now on you have to be brave enough to do exactly what you have to do and no more. You know what I mean? You know, I was trying to lift a kilo with the strength of five kilos for seven years because I wanted to secure my, uh, I want, I want uh, every attempt to be successful. So I said, okay, I'm going to secure it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to apply more strength that, that, that I need, in fact. But I didn't know that when doing that on the instrument, I was creating tension. Because obviously my system was already tense. And we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, remove tension, adding more tension. It would be like trying to, to how do you say, to, uh, to, to destroy a fire, adding more wood to the fire. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. Yeah. And I was doing that, in fact. So. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, Joaquin, don't try to control this. Let's see what happens. Try to think just what you have to do. It was very difficult because I had automatized uh, that, that, uh, that impulse to, to control tension. But, you know, I had to train myself for, a, for, a, for almost three or four months not to fight against tension. It was very difficult, but at last I started feeling that I didn't have to do more than, you know, I also uh, uh, realized that my diaphragm was very contracted, very, very contracted. So uh, I was not allowing the air flow correctly out. So if you know that uh, an embouchure needs the air flow. An embouchure with air flow is absolutely nothing, mm -hmm. because the air flow is the support of the embouchure. I also realized that I was creating a, a, a natural embouchure. I was just pretending to have an embouchure. 
I was disguising the movement to recognize an embouchure, but the embouchure didn't have the support of the airflow. Mm. So that was absolutely unnatural. It was artificial, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It was just a disguise. It was not, it was not an embouchure. Why? Because I, I was not uh, breathing correctly. I was not letting the air out correct, correctly. Why, I thought, why? Why my diaphragm is not, uh, it remains contracted and, and it doesn't just relax. You know, and I said, well, I, di I cannot do this intentionally, obviously. So I thought, if I cannot do this intentionally, it means that the, the, the contraction of the diaphragm is given to something else that is out of my rational control, of my conscious control. And obviously, I thought of a altered emotional state. And I realized that I was very nervous and I was very uncomfortable when playing. I was very distressed because I was just trying to secure things to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, and I knew that when I, I just uh, left the instrument, my body relaxed. But when I took the instrument, I was again very nervous, very tense. And obviously that tension affected my diaphragm. I mean, I discovered that the, the, uh, the contraction of the diaphragm was uh, was directly related to my emotional state and that the only way to relax my diaphragm was to relax myself but from an emotional standpoint. So I learned to, to modify my assessments about the fact of playing. I thought, okay, I'm going to accept things. I'm going to try to feel well because I have invented that playing was a threat. In fact, I had invented that. Well, I had learned it, in fact. So you, if I uh, had learned that playing was a threat, obviously my, uh, uh, my physical system was going to be the reflection, the reflection of that emotional state, you know? So my body was tense because I was really tense inside. It was, as I told you before, it was an adrenaline discharge, in fact. When we are very tense, when we are afraid of something, though it is uh, justified or not, though it is real or it is just a fantasy, our system reacts exactly uh, the same way. You know, our unconscious, our emotional center sends an adrenaline in the church, you know, that uh, makes our body very tense. And we cannot control an adrenaline in the church because it comes from our emotional center. Mm -hmm.